when when you see you know Matt Damon, John Krasinski, Dave Eggers, Gus Van Zant, that's a pretty impressive lineup. How did everybody come together to do this film? I had the idea about two years ago to do uh, a story about American identity, and so I wanted to tell a story about that, about community, and about uh, this type of, of town that, like my dad, grew up. And so I brought that idea to Dave, and Dave, obviously, these issues are really important to him too. And he was about to write one of those novels that he does, but uh, <laughs> so he couldn't write the screenplay. But I brought the idea to, to Matt, and we started writing off that basic structure that Dave and I started. And uh, when you met Matt, I mean, he's won awards and stuff, but how did you know that you wanted to write with him? That's such a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for asking it, because it's, uh, it's an important question. Um, I guess he had written before. Uh, somebody told me. <laughs> I think it was your wife who was like, you should work with him. Um, no, being a kid from Boston, I think we all have uh, the Goodwill Hunting poster tattooed to our backs. So it's, uh, it, it was really incredible to actually get a chance to write with him and, and be in a room with uh, Will Hunting. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? Um, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> oh, it's on now. Yeah. <laughs> When I met John and uh, you know and started talking to him about movies, he he uh, he really reminded me of uh, George Clooney when when I when I first met George and when I first met George, George was known as the guy from ER. That's really how I f feel about John. And and I met him and I went, you know, he's he's awesome on that show and and I love that show and I don't think anybody could do that better. But um, but that's not all. Uh, you know, that's, I mean, he's he's got the breadth and scope of his talent is is, is pretty vast, and uh, he can write, he can produce, he can direct, and he can he can act, and not just you know uh, on the office, he can do really anything. And so, I instantly started looking for projects. I mean, we had one thing we were developing with Kenny Lonergan, and he brought this idea to me, and I was like, great, let's try that, and uh, because I wanted to direct and. Um, and uh, you know, we started writing it, and it just—it was, you know, it reminded me of writing with Ben. It was the same thing, I think, because we're actors, we're from Boston. I, you know, we have a similar sensibility, and and uh, it, the thing just started to write itself, and and kind of took on a life of its own. For both of you, what is that like to be, for your, to have your writing partner be your scene partner? It was funny. I actually remember the first day we shot together was the scene where I come out and hammer a sign in the lawn. And um, it really was that moment where we had been friends and we had been writing together, but we had never actually taken the time to ask each other what each other was going to do with the other part. By the time we got to the set, we were we were pretty, uh, you know, there there weren't really many surprises. But with the other actors, um, I found with this one the same with with Goodwill Hunting. Um, anything that they would bring that we hadn't thought of usually augmented what we had written or you know elevated it uh, and uh, and that's really why you hire your actors I mean Gus said to me on Goodwill Hunting 15 years ago he said directing's 95 percent casting well when uh, when you've written something and then you get to hear those words coming out of Hal Holbrook's mouth or out of Francis McDormand's mouth um, do actors like that uncover stuff that you didn't know was there when they're reading your words? We, we actually had written for Fran McDormand right from the beginning. And um, about six weeks into the writing process, we had had a draft that we were happy with. It was still sort of a unbridled sort of beast, and we had to figure it all out. And so we sent it to her, and she said yes after six weeks of writing, um, which is the biggest compliment you can get and a huge boost for us. And that was one year before we started shooting. Um, so to have three people that you were writing for and the, the story sort of comes to life in your head and then to have her in the rehearsal process, she's the type of person who brings very strong opinions and very um, strong ideas of what she wants to do and she did that. And one day finally Matt went into her and was just like, I'm sorry, I gotta tell you, like you're incredible. Every single take is different, it's unbelievable. Like how do you do that? And she was like, oh God. Joel tells me the same thing, her husband. And she said, um, and I don't know what to tell you guys, I have the same thought in my head every single time. <laughs> it was real, because I've known Fran for almost 20 years. We, we did a cable TV movie together. She played my mom, which is <laughs> very funny, because we're, you know, 
we're pretty close in age. But, uh, but she played my mom in 1994 in this thing that Tommy Lee Jones directed for TNT called The Good Old Boys. And so I've known her since then and we've kept in touch. And, um, and it was like this weird thing where I'd never, I'd never seen her dailies. And so to watch them, like we, wa we would watch them. And I just, I finally, I just hit that like breaking point. I was like, what is it? Like, how do you do that? Like every single take, it's amazing. Cause we would geek out and watch them over and over and over. And we were like, I mean, take two is amazing, but what about take four? Like, right? You know, and, uh, and she was like totally exasperated and, and uh, you know, said she's, she's heard it before. So I guess genius just, she's just touched, you know? Did you guys set out to make a political movie? Or did you intend this movie to be political, I guess I'd rather say? No, not at all. No, we, we really wanted to make a movie about where we are right now in America and where we've come from, and that's how Hal's character speaks to that, and, and where we're headed. And, and we really felt strongly that we wanted the, the ending to, to have a, some hope and some optimism, and, and we decided that the idea that democracy had been hijacked in a way that that vote had been taken away would you know he would intervene in that in that case and he would that and that would be an epiphany for him and he would say you know what whatever happens and i'm not even telling you what to do this is your decision so it it it's about civic engagement and ultimately it's a, a pro community and pro democracy movie